in our area. Now we want to talk about another area that's starting to see some progress, thankfully, and that is the Pine Island area. We know that the only bridge to access Pine Island was destroyed by Hurricane Ian. So the governor is saying that 130 FDOT trucks were deployed to work on a temporary bridge so that people who live on Pine Island can have finally access besides just taking a boat or, you know, we've seen Coast Guard taking people through the air. Um, FDOT says the goal is for residents, first responders to have drivable access to the island within the next week. All right, so Fox 4's Alexandra Ronhell has been tracking that work for the last couple of days now. She is live on Matt Lachey this morning. And Alexandra, can, what can you tell us about the work that's being done right now? Today is day two of road work on Monday. Crews got started with rebuilding a new road, and today that construction continues. As FDOT says, they're expecting to have access to Pine Island by Saturday. Behind me, you can actually see this road closure sign right now. No cars are being let through. Only workers that are helping with construction and are taking in supplies are being able to go past this road closure sign. The road and bridge repairs are a temporary fix, but it allows for access as soon as possible. That access allows first responders, residents, and those helping with recovery efforts to make it to Pine Island. As we've been reporting, the only way on the mainland, mainland right now is by boat. That's a challenge for residents trying to evacuate and a challenge for people helping with recovery efforts. Now that help has been pouring in from volunteers who have boats to the U.S. Coast Guard, we spoke to a resident who evacuated from Boquilia with help from the Coast Guard. He says right now the island is unlivable, but says this temporary road fixture is a good start. Getting it done and getting some kind of access because there are people out there who will not leave. And when that temporary bridge is in, at least they can have access and go get their own stuff. Once again, road access should be restored by Saturday. We'll continue to follow the construction progress and let you know when access to the road is available. For now, live in Matt Lachey, Alexandra Rangel, Fox 4.